Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome slide guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna learn to slide over open G minor tuning. Eh? Open G minor with B flat on the second string instead of B. Okay, so this is a pretty unusual tuning for slide guitar because usually we slide over open major chord tunings. Okay, open D, open G, but this is open G minor. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, I'm gonna show you the tuning and then I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do over it. Okay, you can use some of the tricks and licks that I showed you in previous slide guitar lessons. But because it's open G minor, it's gonna sound unusual, it's gonna sound different. And um, you might come up with really, really brilliant stuff here because of the different, okay, the different tuning of the B string down to B flat. So before we start, I would like you to know that this lesson is sponsored yet again by Skillshare because Skillshare love licking riffers and they want to give a thousand more of you free access to their platform. Skillshare, in case you don't know, is a magnificent creative platform for online learning. Courses on anything you want. Graphic design, music production, painting, drawing, sketching, writing, creative writing, photography and video editing classes like the Fundamentals of DSLR Photography course that I took by Justin Bridges or the Video Color Correction course even psychology courses. There's nothing you can't find and learn on Skillshare. So click the link below in the description. The first thousand of you to do so will get a free trial of free access to all the courses on Skillshare. It's wonderful. It's an amazing, amazing offer. So thank you so much, Skillshare. And uh, for those of you, the, the thousand of you who will click the link, Enjoy, you're gonna enjoy it. So now let's enjoy some slide guitar in open G minor. Right, so um, G minor, okay, open G minor, okay? It's D, okay, G, D again, G again, then it's B flat, and then it's D again, okay? So it's D, G, D, G, B flat, D. Okay, you have three Ds. Okay, string six, four, and one. All of them are D notes. Okay, three different octaves. Okay, you have two Gs. Okay, strings three and five, and you have B flat on the second string. Okay, D G D G B flat D. Okay, now if you want to turn this into G. Just play one on the second string, and you have G major. Okay, so remember this, we're gonna use this major chord shape. Okay, so if we are talking about minor scales and open tunings, it's usually on uh, frets two and three. So let's check, okay? First string, okay? Which means that if it works there, gonna work on strings uh, four and six as well. So on the second string, okay, works. On the third string, it works. So it means it's gonna work on the next three strings as well. Okay, so frets two and three, okay, so um, just for sonic purposes, okay, sound experiments, you can put two and two on strings, two and three, and you have. You can put two on the A string. Okay, and these are options you can play in between um, slide licks. Now, in um, in slide guitar, usually. You start with um, the fourth and third strings. So, okay, 
but because this is an open minor tuning, we're gonna focus on strings two and three. Okay, you have three, you have two, so. Okay, you can do that, you can use that, so. So immediately we have something that we can't play in standard slide guitar tunings, which are open major chords. So you can do, okay, two and three on strings two and three. Now this is really, really handy. Okay, so just play it in different rhythmical concepts, okay? Slide up, slide down, okay? Pull off to zero, okay? Don't pick it, okay? You can pull off, you can hammer on, okay? And you can slide, okay? Slide guitar is supposed to be dirty, okay? Just wait till we reach the, the 12th fret, okay? I love the dirty sound in slide guitar, okay? If you want the dirty sound, you just put the slide on, okay? If you want, uh, a more, um, a cleaner sound, okay? I, I want to say a purer sound, but, but what's pure? Who's to say what's pure? But if you want a clean sound, use your forefinger behind the slide and then you have a clean, yeah, you have a clean, you have a clean sound. I like the, the, um, that dirty metal on metal sound, okay? Without, um, without muting behind the slide. So it's up to you. Now, um, you can do the normal slide legs. Okay, the uh, three and five on strings, four and five. Okay, also on five. Okay, you can do the blues legs. But because you have minor, okay, I suggest play around on, playing around on two and three. You have you have it on the fifth string, okay? On the sixth string, this is no different from open G major, but the addition of this colors everything differently. It colors everything differently. Now, okay? Now you can use the fourth fret as well in a country mindset. Okay, you don't want to overdo it, but you can play four on the D string, okay, if you want. You can do it on the third string. You see? But don't overdo it. For example, doing it on the fifth string is overdoing it because it's not major. And if you do it on the fifth string, it changes key into D. So don't do it on the fifth string. You can do it on strings three and four. You can use the fourth fret. You can slide from three to four. Okay, but I always go back to the second and third string. Okay, now you can... Now you can do the first string as well, but if you do the first string, you change the chord. So change the chord, okay? okay you can change the chord. Hey, okay? there's no right and wrong here. You can change the chord. Just be aware that that is what you are doing. Now, my go-to line when I play a chord, okay, let's go to five and seven, okay? Okay, when I play a chord, usually I do bar, uh, mute, I mute the, the string behind the slide, I mute it using my forefinger because I want the chord sound. 
But then when I want to solo over it, I usually go down and back up um, just one fret, okay? just a half step. Okay? So when I do that, I let go of the, of the muting finger. So. And then I put it back on. Because then I get, I get that steely sound, that gritting steely sound. See, it's just detuning, okay? Just one fret. Now, of course, you don't do it like this because this is not, okay? This is not Bach, okay? We're playing slide. Okay, you just do it every now and then. The, the trick here is to remind the listener that we're in minor, okay? that we're playing a minor key. So if we uh, go to 12, okay, now I like to use, I like to use the, the ethereal harmonic sound so I don't bar, I don't, okay, I don't mute, okay, I don't, not even convenient. Yeah, I don't mute it. I just play the slide. And then I have the I have the harmonics going as well. So I leave the fifth string open. I don't touch it with the slide. Okay? I just uh, play strings one to four. Okay? And I just I just do the same thing. I play 12 and then just slide down one half step, okay? One fret. Okay, and I just freestyle. I just freestyle. I just pick at random, basically. Um, You can go to three and then five and then seven. Now, the cool thing about minor, especially minor blues, is that you can use okay, this and this, okay, and then go back. You can use the chords in the scale. So, and it's still bluesy. So, um, bar 8 and bar 10, and just put an extra finger on 9 and 11 on the 2nd string. So you have a bar on 8 with 9 on the 2nd string, okay? You have a bar on 10 with 11 on the 2nd string, okay? So, you have G minor, you have C minor. Okay, now obviously, if you have three, you have B flat minor. If you have five, you have C. You have D minor. And then you have D sharp. And okay, you have F. Remember, you can use your fingers. Now, I like to finish on this. Okay, something. I like to do this, uh, I don't know, lavish move, just randomly picking on, uh, again, on two and three, everywhere. finish on a D-sus-2 shape. 
Hey, yeah, because this gives me a weird ending. And you know, if you're watching Lick and Riffs, uh, you know that I love strange ending chords. So it's three on the second string and two on the third. Okay, now you have, you have a minor second here. So it's a really nice chord. It's a D sus2 shape. You can do a D shape too if you want. But it's not as weird as a D sus2 shape. Okay? Right? So click the link below in the description and get your free trial of free access, free premium access to everything on Skillshare. It's an incredibly amazing offer. It's a generous offer from Skillshare. So make sure you grab it. The first thousand of you to do so will get the free access. So enjoy. Thank you, Skillshare. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Thank you.